Hey guys, so I enjoyed the one of the mid stages of that wet into wet galaxy tutorial so much that I want to recreate that so I can actually do a flower illustration. So I'm using the Blick Studio cotton rag cold press paper. I really like this paper. I'm really excited to do a field test on this paper with some of my illustration work. But we're going to do a little something else today. So I'm using the same colors as I did in that tutorial and you can check out that tutorial by clicking the card here. Hold by neutral tint. Magello Marine Blue, Daniel Smith Undersea Green, Daniel Smith Nathamide Maroon, Magello Turquoise Blue, and Magello Compose Rose. And I've got a nice big round thirsty synthetic mimic. It's 26 mimic, one of the larger sizes. And in case you missed my little PSA probably multiple times, if you want larger rounds, I say go synthetic. So I'm cheating and I actually have the wash water from yesterday. It's had a chance to kind of saturate and evaporate. And I'm going to use that as my initial wash. You could use um, just a light wash of the Holbein neutral tint. And I actually happen to prefer Holbein Neutral Tint over Windsor Newton Neutral Tint because it doesn't lift up as much and it's more purple. So we're going to create a thirsty brush and we're going to lift up some of the excess standing water because we're going to be adding more water to this. And I'm going to reactivate my colors from yesterday. They're still in my, um, my porcelain dish gonna go in and pick up some of that neutral tint and just brush it in and I can even I'm running low on it I need to replace it but I can even when you have a tube that's this low you can kind of work your brush in there and then kind of mix it in a palette there we go I don't want it too, too dark, but I don't want it too, too light. And I also want it a little more organically shaped. So I kind of want to avoid hard edges. So the next thing I'm going to do is then I pick up some of that undersea green and just kind of brush it in there. And right now the paper is super duper wet. That's why we're using a cotton rag paper on a block. It can handle all that water and we're not going to have problems later with buckling and cockling and all that, which you guys have probably seen me fight with in some of the videos where we're using a cellulose based paper. And then we're going to pick up some of the maroon and I'm just kind of dabbling my paint on in here. I'm gonna go back in, absorb some of that excess liquid. Could even go in and lift. All right, next up, some of that marine blue. And I hope you guys have some salt handy, and I don't just mean my snark, because we're going to need to sprinkle some of that in here soon. And then grabbing some of the rose, unfortunately. Got a little blended with my blue, so I'm going to clean that out. Okay, so got some good basic colors. Clean the rose out real quick. refill some of these wells and I'm just squeezing the paint right into the well. One of the nice things about using a porcelain palette is you can just kind of leave your paint in there and reactivate it. You can do that to an extent with um, plastic palettes as well but porcelain palettes don't aren't as likely to stain. Okay so we've got some really nice intense colors here so I'm going to activate my pink. Not wet enough.
and note we didn't do any of the masking on this I'm not well I might but I don't want the white of the page just yet let's pick up some of that excess water grab some undersea green flick that on there as well and then speaking of salt we're going to just sprinkle this onto the paper it's almost like magic pixie dust because it's going to absorb some of the water and you're going to get some really beautiful papers and I noticed the other day when I was doing the galaxy tutorial that when you sprinkle it on this particular paper you really get a striking result so I am excited about this you don't want to just dump it in like a puddle of water like over there because it's not really going to be very effective so you want to sprinkle it on areas that have somewhat started to absorb the water and then I'm going to try to create a bit more of a design alright so of course you know we let this dry this isn't fully dry but I thought I would just take a moment to check in and isn't that gorgeous and it is so easy to do this you just you know mix some colors wet into wet on the paper and then sprinkle salt into it and it's just beautiful I'm really excited for when this is dry and we, when we can move on to step two of this tutorial so this is about dry I'm gonna take it over to the trash can and brush off all that salt and I think I'm going to save the next part of this for another video since that's pretty time consuming in and of itself and since honestly this is a beautiful watercolor texture on its own that would be great for like a card background or maybe some brush lettering on top of it or even for some illustration on top of it I mean even this is already pretty versatile so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed another demonstration of salt techniques another demonstration of wet into wet techniques and another look at the Blick Studio cotton rag watercolor block I hope to see you guys again really soon, and I hope you guys will check out my watercolor basic series here on the channel and over on the blog. Bye, guys!